Hi, my name is Abraham Dasri, and I'm a senior at Alfreda High School. Um, the second question is, why am I interested in tutoring? Um, I'd like to say I'm interested in tutoring because I like to help students with concepts that I've already learned and that I wanted to use sort of my intellect and my experience with these classes to help these students achieve what they want to achieve. You know, academic success or concept retention, whatnot, you know. Um, High Five specifically interested me because one, I was recommended by a friend, Samir Jivankikar, who told me about their flexible schedule. Um, that works pretty tremendously with my senior year concerning college applications and other goodbyes and whatnot. Um, it's very much tutoring focused. Um, there's less there's less grading. There's more t teaching and more interpersonal environment where I get to use my prowess a little bit more hand with a hands-on approach on how to teach the students and see them grow and succeed. Also, uh, you know, a third reason why it's really beneficial for me, High Five, is because of its close proximity to my house. It's about, I think, uh, seven minutes out from my home, so it's very, very helpful. I don't have to worry about being late due to traffic going the other side. So, yeah. Um, you know, this next question talks about <coughs> teaching style and whatnot and how I greet a student. I guess... My teaching style is more of a lecture first. So a small, quick, understandable lecture about the subject area and then a Q&A regarding those, that lecture topic. And then me and the student working out, let's say 10, 10 problems together, five, 10 problems together, and then letting the student do it, do them, do it on their own and then checking back with me if they have any questions. You know, I value the learning process more than I really do getting the right answer. So that one-on-one -on -one time of learning and trying to understand how to get to the right answer is what I prioritize. So if that may be many assisted questions or whatnot, that that is what I'll end up doing. Um, I also like greeting my students in a way that's more interpersonal being more being less of sort of a huge like a teacher figure more of like a peer like one of them just someone that knows this subject and that is just willing to help rather than being like a teacher or being like strict or mundane or whatnot because that would that would rid the student of the ability to want to learn or to get better at the subject and uh, rids them of any fears of asking like quote unquote, silly questions or whatnot, if they have the ability to come to me, that helps them be more open about their academic and learning process. So next question talks about experience in tutoring and past experiences and sort of online tutoring. Um, I've had a tutoring experience in the past with Kumon. I've been working there ever since um, a couple of weeks ago. I decided to not continue with Kumon because I didn't feel like I was maximizing my tutoring capability, you know, grading papers and, you know, just answering questions and doubts didn't really um, seem to fit what I wanted to do. Um, so that was one of the reasons why I left there as well as the unable to be flexible in timings and the, uh, the area itself, like where it was located was a little, not, it was not too close to my house, which made it all the reason why. But um, certain things that I did at tutoring for that, for Kumon was I was designated to answer questions and doubts and then educate on how to solve these problems. But these were on a needs by needs basis. So I was never explicitly told to explain the whole concept. But I found that when students ask questions, they would never have a full understanding of the concept itself. So that I have to run down the whole concept itself and then help them on the specific needs by needs question. So I feel like that's why I wanted to join, why I feel like high five would be the best for that. As well as I was also graded, I was also de designated to grade and record proficiency. So that it was more of a proficiency based focus, like how many right answers, how many wrong answers, how much time, et cetera. Like just how Kumon is, it's very like structured in that order. But I feel like that doesn't do justice to 
if you understand a topic or not, rather it's conceptualization. It's not really proficiency. And I have not done online tutoring, but I am open to it. I have been in online tutoring classes before for myself, such as uh, Zoom, uh, Skype and whatnot. But yeah, or like a FaceTime video call or whatnot. Um, this next question asks about what subjects am I most passionate about? Um, I'm more passionate and I'm stronger in my language arts and social studies classes. If you can see on my transcript, I've gotten um, higher AP scores and higher grades in those classes. So I can teach from all the way to from whatever the minimum grade level is at high five offers to um, AP, AP um, style curriculum. I'm, I'm well versed for all the social studies classes besides um, AP Euro, I just didn't take that class, but everything up to AP World, I'm AP US History, I'm pretty proficient in, as well as uh, Language Arts, I'm pretty proficient, all the way up until um, AP Language and Composition, and I could do um, AP Literature as well. Um, foreign languages, I'm not really, uh, sorry, um, I'm also proficient in SAT-related tutoring, Specifically, SAT math. Um, I scored an 800 on my SAT math. So if there is a class that requires SAT math, I, I could be adept at um, teaching it. I feel like I would better be suited for ELA and social studies classes. But if SAT math is needed, I am also available for that. This next question asks about what subjects am I weak in? Um, I'm less passionate and not as able to explain science related classes though I've taken science related courses I'm not really that well versed in like um explaining them math related classes I could probably give a good um explanation up until calculus ab I can't really even then it's like a little um it's a little intermediary it's not very not very proficient as my other subjects um foreign languages as well I Got my Spanish credit, but I am in no shape to really uh, be the one to teach it. But I can review and go back if needed. Um, but yeah. And then the next question is, how many hours are you willing to dedicate to high five? And what days and times? I'm willing to dedicate about four to five hours a week to high five. So whether that be two days of a tutoring session. So yeah, one day, two hours another day two hours or one day three hours another day two hours um the days i'm really most able to dedicate would be tuesdays and wednesdays on weekend weekdays from six to eight those are the best times for me to dedicate <coughs> um, weekends don't work as well due to um external family stuff and um mondays and thursdays and fridays are usually the days where I get the most assessments and homework and assignments. So I don't want to um, use those days up for tutoring. But in the in the event that I am free on those days, I could shoot a text to, to let you know like the week of saying that, hey, I'm able to come these days. And um, depending on my week, uh, since it's my second semester of my junior, senior year, it'll I will probably be a little bit more lenient to change the hours, but I'm just setting a benchmark right now just in case um, it's, it gets hectic my second semester. But yeah, and then um, the question was, what are my commitments this semester? I have no external commitments this semester besides um, my senior year grades and um, potentially any college applications, any like last minute college applications or um, any last minute um, club related things like FBLA so and, and debate, but th that would be it. Um, those commitments would never, would usually never go into the times that I've dedicated, which w shouldn't serve as an issue, but they are some of the commitments. Uh, number 10 says that if I were to join High Five, how would I, how soon would I be able to start? Uh, I say uh, I am actually kind of busy this winter break so if i were to join high five i would be able to start by like the end of winter break which would be the third of december if i'm following my tuesday wednesday rule yeah the third of december would be fine and then days onward i think the those would be the best times for me to come in and work it out 
as well as, um, yeah, the, that, that day is probably the best day to, for me to go in. Um, last questions about additional information. Um, additional information would be that I'm eager to help. I'm eager to learn. So if there is a, if there is a time where I'm free and there's an opening for a student that needs help, I will definitely shoot a text and I'm, I'll definitely be updated. And then as well as, um, I am also able to reach out to other, other potential tutors and, you know, market for high five if they need any more people. But yeah, thank you.